everyone, Julian here. Welcome to the weekly guitar meeting at Zika's Guitars. I hope you are doing well and you are having a good time. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, before we start with the guitars of this week, I want to draw your attention to our special offer on all the Yelling House guitars in our shop. Until the end of the August, you will receive 20% discount on all the Wolfgang Gellinghaus guitars. So make sure to check our website. As I said, it's only until the end of the August, 20% off on all Wolfgang Gellinghaus guitars. And let's start with the first guitar of this week. Today we have six very, very good sounding and special guitars. <laughs> So, would you believe me if I say that the back and the sides of this guitar are not made by wood? So, this is a guitar made by the Italian guitar luthier Fabio Sontini. And uh, this guitar is a special edition. It's called uh, Pappmache guitar or Papiermache guitar. And uh, the interesting thing about this guitar is that, of course, it has a spruce top. It's a wood top. But the back and sides of this guitar are made from papmache or papier mache. And uh, the first time when I listened to that guitar, I wouldn't believe that, that, that it's not wood because it sounds so natural and it has such a good sustain and sweet tone that um, yeah I was very amazed so it's basically made from paper <laughs> but of course it went through some um, processing and um, also the top of this guitar looks very beautiful very aged like a vintage guitar but it's a brand new guitar from 2023 and um, yeah, we have also traditional tuning machines, which are mechanical, so you can tune them very, very easily and they are very smooth. And uh, yeah, let's play more on it. It sounds so good and it's so comfortable to play. very well resonating but what I also like a lot is the first string singing
It's a great piece of art by Fabio Santini and uh, he has always very interesting ideas. He showed us a guitar at Zika's Guitars that the back and sides, so in the guitar, uh, it, was, it was a painting and the interesting thing is, of course, as soon as he, uh, as he is finished with this guitar, if the top of the guitar is, uh, is there, then you can't see the painting anymore. Yeah, so congrats to Fabio Sontini for this amazing guitar. We also have recorded a whole concert uh, on this guitar, which will be published, I think, in a few weeks, played by Federica Artuso. So we will let you know if it's published. And the next guitar is made by, let's say, a rising star in the guitar luthery, um, Adrian Heinzelmann from Germany. And this guitar is from 2021, but it's in a very good condition. It's almost like new and it has a spruce top with a lettuce bracing, a very special lettuce bracing. Uh, Adrian calls this type of lettuce bracing groove top. And um, we have a, yeah, as I said, spruce top and Indian rosewood back and sides. Let's see how it sounds. Wow, as usual, I'm always amazed by Adrian's guitars. It has a very fast response, very soft, very fast, but soft response. So you don't need to push a lot to get a very good and round sound of this guitar. And uh, it's very loud. The whole guitar is resonating and uh, yeah, it's a very loud guitar, but at the same time you have also a very beautiful tone. Also, the sustain is very good. I, I mean, somehow everything on this guitar is really good. I like it very much. But let's play a bit more on it. So if you are searching for a very good sounding guitars in terms of response, loudness, uh, different colors, it's a really very affordable guitar to play big concerts on it. 
and uh, yeah let's move to the next guitar and this guitar is made by Roy van Hennel a very quite well-known guitar luthier from Germany we had also several guitars by him in our shop and um, he's I think also building steel string guitars so he is a very yeah skillful uh, guitar luthier and this guitar is from 2016 and uh, it has a spruce top and very beautiful grenadilla rosewood back and sides actually i don't know if it's grenadilla rosewood or just grenadilla i will find it out and uh, this guitar has also a quiet elevated fingerboard so it will be much easier to play on higher positions and um, it's also very well resonating while i'm talking i'm hearing all the overtones of the guitar and uh, yeah let's see how the guitar sounds sustain of this guitar is just wow and it's very even in all the frequencies so it's a very very well uh, good balance between the trebles and the bass strings It's a fantastic sounding guitar. The basses are so deep and loud and well resonating. I have the feeling that I have to scream so that you can hear me because the guitar is so loud. Fankanel guitar from 2016 and also almost like new wow very clean and uh, very good sounding so congrats to Roy Fankanel for this great guitar and um, let's move to the next one the next guitar is made by one of the most famous and much appreciated uh, British guitar luthiers who was born in South Africa, Brian Cohen. And this guitar 
is a Taurus model from 2006 and um, it has a spruce top and maple back and sides. It's a very beautiful guitar with a very fine finishing, very detailed uh, work and uh, I won't talk a lot, I will just start to play on it and let's see how the guitar sounds. Beautiful. What a beautiful tone. Also very comfortable to play so this is those kind of guitars that somehow everything works very well everything works it's very simple but everything is perfect and it gives you automatically a very comfortable feeling a very safe feeling if you are playing a piece Yeah, it's a very enjoyable guitar to play and the sound is also very forward going. It's very, yeah, driving sound. It's like a tube amplifier of an electric guitar and the sound is really going forward. Please also let me know what you think about the sound of this one also in comparison to the last two guitars by Heinzelmann and uh, Roy Funk Henel, because they are quite different, but each guitar has somehow all the qualities that you need to play a piece very properly and uh, you have all the tools, the necessary tools to design your piece in a very musical way or to play your piece in a musical way. And uh, we have still two guitars left and let's move to the next one. The next guitar is made by the French guitar luthier François Regis Leonard and we also had several guitars of uh, François and all of them are very loud guitars, very modern sounding but still with a element of a traditional tone and a French sound. Very interesting guitars and uh, this one is brand new from 2020 three and it has a 64 centimeter scale so also very easy to play 
and uh, we have a spruce top on this guitar and Indian rosewood back and sides and it has also a lettuce bracing a 7 to 7 lettuce bracing very interesting one and uh, let's see how the guitar performs What a even and long sustain, beautiful. And very soft overtones. You have a very wide palette of different colors on this guitar and that's why also this guitar invites you to try more and try different things somehow to expand your musical ideas and I think this is a very important point uh, if you are yeah if you are playing a piece or if you are trying a guitar it should give you more possibilities and uh, yeah great guitar made by Francois Regis Leonard from friends and let's move to the last guitar of this week and the last guitar of this week is made by hmm, actually Karl Hermann Schäfer the German guitar luthier Karl Hermann Schäfer who is building different guitar models and uh, all of them sound really really good and but on the label of this guitar is written Nikolaus Wolf and the reason is that uh, yeah back then he used this name as an alias for to build guitars so Nikolaus Wolf um, is the same Nikolaus Wolf is Karl Hermann Schäfer yeah uh, <laughs> and this guitar is from 2017 it has a spruce top and Indian rosewood back and sides and of course it's a traditionally built guitar very light and uh, I'm very curious of the sound let's try Well, this week I'm blown away by all the guitars. Um, this one has a very heavy 
tone. It's a little bit like the Brian Cohen guitar, which was sounding very forward going and also this guitar, it has a very robust sound, tone and very heavy and forward going. noticed is the wide dynamic range of this guitar you can be very soft and if you get louder the guitar responds very well to your playing and it gets louder without losing the quality of the tone and how's the guitar the, the character of this guitar is very similar impressive sounding guitar by Nicolas Wolf in 2017 or today Karl Hermann Schäfer it's the same and uh, also very light I like this guitar a lot wow also very beautiful spruce and uh, yeah it was also the last guitar of this week I hope you enjoyed this week's weekly guitar meeting Please let me know in the comments, as usual, um, what do you think about the sound of this guitar and how do you compare them to each other? Um, I think every guitar had a very special tone, uh, very different to each other, but at the same time, all the qualities that you need um, are there. And yeah, so thanks for tuning in. Have a good weekend and see you next week. <laughs>